Meet January. This is January. January loves to snuggle up in bed. She loves to have pretend campfires inside with her family. She loves to eat s'mores. She loves her sleeping bag. She loves the pretend stars on her bedroom wall, too. What January doesn't love is the cold. Her toes freeze, her nose freezes, even her hair freezes rock solid. Every time she wants to play outside, she has to put on layers and layers of warm clothes. It takes forever to get ready. After only a few minutes outside, she has to run in to warm up. All winter break, January got to sleep in, enjoy her new toys, and play with Flurry, her pet fox. Best of all, January got to celebrate the new year. Each day she marked off her calendar. Just four days left until school starts back. Her days off were coming to an end. Finally, the day had come. There were no more days left of winter break, and tomorrow she had to go back to school. Worst part of all, she had to walk to school in the cold. January's mom had a surprise for her the next morning to help get her excited for school. She made her favorite food, snowman pancakes, for breakfast. Come on, January, it's time to wake up and get ready for school. Her mom yelled from downstairs. January pretended to be asleep. January pretended Flurry was sick. January even pretended she was sick. Her mom didn't fall for it. January, my snowflake, you get to see your friends again. You get to wish everyone a happy new year, she said. It's time to go. Come on, get up. So, January got up. She got dressed. She ate her pancakes. She got dressed even more. She said bye to Flurry and she walked slowly to school. Each step she took, she was more and more cold. Oh no, she thought, I can't feel my nose. I can't feel my toes. My hair even hurts. Something was unusual about today. Today had to be the coldest day in the history of all cold days. By the time January got to school, she was frozen solid. She couldn't move. She couldn't enjoy her friends. She couldn't tell everyone about the new year. All January could do was sit and sit and sit. Oh, and she could drip and drip and drip. Her whole class started to laugh at her. June and July thought for sure this was all a joke and asked, Are you sure you're really frozen? Her closest friends, December and February, were the only ones not laughing. February reminded her that the winter will be over one day. December chimed in, It's okay, January. We understand. Miss Season spoke up and calmed the class. Now everyone, let's think what causes frozen things like ice to melt. When it sits in the car all day, when I eat it, when the sun shines on it. Right. Now what do they all have in common? Heat. One by one the class got up and helped move January by the window. Thankfully, the sun was coming out. She waited until she could feel her nose. She waited until she could feel her toes. She waited until even her hair didn't hurt anymore.
Finally, by lunchtime, she was warm again. Oh, Mittens, I sure wish winter was over. December and February were happy to talk to January again, but couldn't figure out why she was so blue. What's wrong? It's just too cold. Look, even my hair is still frozen. I want to go play outside without freezing. I should just move to Florida where it is warm all year. I miss the trees and the grass and picking flowers. February had an idea. So she whispered her idea to Ms. Seasons and she agreed. During lunch, February and Ms. Seasons turned on the heaters. They drew and they drew and they glued and they glued. When they were finished, Ms. Seasons walked to the lunchroom and asked for January to come to the classroom. Ta-da! January squealed. Oh, February, you are the best. February showed her friend where she could pick flowers. She sat and ate the rest of her lunch with her on the green, green grass. January was no longer blue. She was so cozy, so warm, and it felt like a warm spring day. Oh, I almost forgot. Happy New Year! On the way home, December, January, and February built the snowman and snow kits. They made snowballs and snow cones. Flurry joined in too. I guess winter can be fun too, January thought. Until January was frozen solid once again.